Hello friends, once again, I am here with my new topic, control charts. What are control charts? A control chart is a subtle variation of a line chart. It is also used to study how data changes over time. Additionally, it contains fixed horizontal line to determine whether or not process has a value within the limits. In other words, a control chart is used to check whether or not the said process is under control. Basically, control charts are the charts which are used to identify, used to showing the output of a sales or output the data we are displaying is in certain limits or in control. There are some function for which uh, for representing control charts we use in calculated fields. These are Windows Average and Window Standard Deviation. Window Average is a similar function which we use in Advanced SQL. Who have gone through an Advanced SQL? No, this, this function is used to calculate the average of the values of the variable in question. It will consider only the value present in the visualization out of total values. For example, if we have the data set of 10 years and we are representing the data of one year only, then Window Average function that uh, will consider the fun uh, value of one year only that we have taken in the visualization. Normally, this is uh, different from normal average. What normal average do? It will uh, create, it will uh, consider entire period of 10 years. But if we in visualization, if we use one year, then window average will consider only that one year only. Similarly, window standard deviation function, this function is similar to the window average function except that it calculates the standard deviation of the value present in the visualization. Means it is also same, calculate the same, it only consider the value which are already presented in the visualization of our data set part. So what we will do now, we are using same data set. Or uh, same data set, sample super store data set, and audit tab here. So, by definitions, what are, what are control charts? The control charts is a graph used to study how to process changes over time. You can note it down. How to process changes over time? Data are plotted in the time order. A control chart has a central line for average upper and an upper limit for the upper control limit and a lower line for the lower control limit. So, we can analyze that it's bound to upper control limit or lower control limit. It has happened in previous year that sales was close to upper limit or lower limit. To calculate this, we use control charts. What we will do, we will go to the order date and simply drag and drop order date to the here and we will calculate it to we will convert it to month by simply click here and convert it to month so now we will go to the profit we will simply drag and drop profit here and we can see there is a line chart has been created here automatically by tableau so we want to see see whether is lying between one standard deviation in entire profit or not so what we will do we will create some calculated field by use of window average functions and by tableau so we can uh, we will go to the create calculate field what we will do, we will put here lower bound. First, we are calculating lower bound. And we are using window average function to calculate the value based upon the chart right now. In this chart, what are the value that will be on the depicting? So, it will take the difference from normal average. I will told you window average takes only the value uh, average of the value which are already in the visualization then which from how to write it down window average we will consider window average of the values which one values sum of profit
प्रॉफिट माइनस विंडो स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ सम ऑफ प्रॉफिट then this calculation hmm. so we can write down in this way window average minus window standard deviation of the profit you can note it down even for practice and we will do apply and we will go to okay so what we will do now we will create some another field also upper bound it was lower bound so for upper bound value instead of subtracting profit now we will add profit to the standard deviation so we will go to here we will go here and we will note it down we will create upper bound value so in upper bound profit will be added then we will write it down in the same way window we will use window average function and within this we will use sum of profit now plus window standard deviation sum of profit then we can also apply and then we will go to okay then we can see two field is created upper bound and lower bound so let's pick up measure value where is the measure drag and drop measure value here then you can easily see that various types of measure value have been here then what we will do we will simply which are not required drag and drop only we will keep here lower bound and upper bound value other we will simply drag and drop now we can understand that two values are there lower and upper this will bring all the measure values all measures here all measures here are the part of upper bound and lower bound now we will what we will do we will go to the measure value and create this to the simply click here and make it to the dual axis when you will make it dual axis there is a another axis created let's simply uh, click here and click the synchronize axis now we can understand these both are the value lower bound and upper bound for some different different months this is all about control charts are created now you have created control charts you can now onwards you can add some more clarity only but this is the creation of the control charts what are control charts basically so there are few things which are here and which are here here so what we can do if we, uh, we uh, want to display outliers then we can easily display outliers here and this will also add some clarity to the 
control chart so what are outliers outliers are the values which are behaving differently from rest of data which are behaving differently rest of data what we will do for this we will go to the create calculated field we will create a field of outliers here how we will represent it we will write it down if sum of profit is less than lower bound then also it is outlier or more than upper bound then also it is a uh, outlier so how to write it down sum sum of profit is less than lower bound and not and or because any of the condition will be true or sum sum of the profit is greater than upper bound then it is a outlier in in any of the conditions then what we will do This is contain some error, but kind of error. Now it's okay apply and then okay now we can see that there is a field outlier is created now what we will do if we will go to the sum of profit and put outlier on the colors simply drag and drop and we will put on colors what is going to happen there and we simply drag and drop outliers here then we can understand there will be a field is created color here col here for outliers see you can see now these are the values which are outliers if we consider only this means who which one values are outlier then these are the values which are outliers which are true for the condition we have written down in the outlier created calculated for it, which are supporting that value is the value which are not outlier then we can change also color these are the values so friends this is all about control charts and how to add con how to add more values more meanings to the con control charts i hope you understood the video i hope uh, you understand how, how we can convert in the different different level we can uh, change here from month to year from month to bypass year very in various number of terms we can modify it. but this this is all about the basic chart of the control charts thank you thank you so much